In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can annotate your models in Blender. Uh, this may be useful for presenting and storing uh, notes uh, about your visual analysis of an object uh, you're doing a project on. And I'm going to discuss two different ways to annotate them. Uh, one is the internal annotation system in Blender. Uh, which allows you to work with different layers as such. So for instance, I have a layer here which indicates different areas of damage of this object. And I have a layer called patch, which is this area with an odd kind of uh, pattern uh, that may indicate some patching at some done, done to this object. And another way of annotating the model using uh, text annotations uh, and that makes use of a uh, an add-on called measure it and it allows you to make uh, this kind of lines with text attached to it and also add measurements for instance to your object so how does this work I've prepared this blender file of this um, Mycenaean piece of pottery a kind of bucket pouring device uh, object um, from the Allard Pearson. Uh, so this is just an object we're we going to use to demonstrate it. So first we need to show the properties panel on the right. Hit N on the keyboard. I will make sure to turn on screencast key so you can see what I'm doing. And you will find the annotation tool below the view section over here so we turn like we uh, collapse all these and um, show only the annotation so when you start there's no annotation uh, object present or annotation layer or something in, in the scene so you have to click new and now uh, it creates a annotation layer automatically over here one called node um, we can change that name by changing like uh, cracks because we're going to draw in the cracks of this pottery uh, over here. We can change the color that it will get on the screen to generate, choose something that's contrasting. Um, uh, thickness of the line you can also, but you can modify all these things um, afterwards. So the annotation tool that allows you to draw inside the 3d viewport anywhere or on the object is over here so on the left side annotation tool if you click for a longer time of it you have different uh like different annotation tools so the regular drawing one one that only draws straight lines one that draws polygons and one uh, that can be used for erasing so I'll start with a regular one so when you start drawing in blender with this annotation line uh, annotation tool, um, you will see that it will simply stick to like, yeah, your viewing angle that you originally used to create it. So it stays there, here as well. It's just a flat drawing um, using the screen as I have it at that moment. So I can also erase those. I can also simply do Ctrl Z, Ctrl Z, and gone they are. But this is generally not what we want. We want to place or stick the annotations to the object. So uh, how do we do this? So we can go here at 3D cursor and change it uh, to surface. Uh, you can also do that over here, by the way, if you have the tools, active tool tab open you can also change it there so what can we do now so now when we draw on the surface you will see that it sticks on the surface and here I made a little mistake so we can remove this but in general it sticks on the surface of the object you're drawing on um, so this can be used very effectively to, for instance, highlight 
areas of damage. So this line over here. And over here. We can, for instance, choose to make another one we call um, holes. And make them this color. And make sure we're drawing on this one. It's not that contrasting, so I'll make it yellow. We can also change the thickness of the line afterwards, so make it a little thicker. And yeah, so indicate other areas. So, so change the name because these are not actually holes, but more like chips. Fractures, I don't know how how you want to call them. Here there are some more cracks. So uh, rather than drawing them like this, uh, for straight lines it's useful 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 to also use the polygon annotation tool. So that works like this. You simply draw straight lines. Downside is that you don't; it doesn't follow the curve as uh, neatly as the continuous drawing tool. But this is another option that you can use. Um, as you can see, you, uh, the, the annotations are visible everywhere, also like through the model. You can turn this off by um, simply selecting this over here. So instead of in front um, make the layer display in front of object that we turn that off so this is a bit of a transparency icon so now it's not transparent anymore so now it only shows whenever it the surface of the object is actually in view so sometimes you don't really want uh, if you're using the annotate tool and you're trying to draw a line and you're Hands are a bit shaky. Yay. Uh, you you want to have a straighter lines, but you want to have still to be able to use this. Um, uh, yeah, the basically the draw through. Um, so you can stabilize the stroke. And when you're stabilizing the stroke, to create this one with a little bit of a dragging, um, a dragging line near to your cursor and that will stabilize the stroke taking the average of uh, yeah your most recent stroke movements and that allows you to make way more smoother drawings like this so when you want to make a render of these uh, annotations uh, it is possible um, however if you go to view and then viewport render image you will get nothing or sometimes you will just get a uh, odd warbled version of your annotations and that's I think a bit of a bug in Blender uh, because in this viewport shading mode with material preview the annotations don't render properly but if we switch over to over here to solid view and then make sure that rather than material you have the texture for instance turned on then you suddenly are able to render the image like so and this allows you to create annotated uh, screenshots of your model to be used in uh, in your report for instance about the visual analysis of this uh, artifact or object So for text annotations, labels, for instance, but also measurements, you need another uh, an, an add-on activated called Measure It. So to uh, activate it, go to Edit and Preferences, 
and then go to add-ons and look for measure and then you will find measure it show up activated it comes with blender so it is already installed you just have to ex uh, activate it and then also on the so right side at view tab you have the measure it tools and um, what well, it gives you all kinds of ways to add labels and measurements to the model and so for instance you can click on this button called annotation and what it does it creates a empty object i will show you here it creates an empty object called annotation and it's created where the 3d cursor is at so when i have a 3d cursor that is uh, indicating this area and i can click um, annotation it will create an annotation over here so there's basically an empty object that is used to stick the annotation onto um, so how does that work so i have this one selected and then in the measure it uh, measure it section under whenever you have created something and you have selected it it will have uh, over here at items uh, and then below there then is this empty field over here so this is blue indicating the color that will show up whenever I uh, bump. so I've added text to it and I have still have to click show so now and I can show, show and hide so it shows me a text annotation with the text bump so I can um, I can make this bigger for instance when I click on the cock wheel here and at font you can simply drag the font you know, to make it bigger so you can also change for instance um, yeah, the X and Y location and how it aligns to the to the empty object um, yeah and then you can also delete it again so now this is just an empty object without an annotation associated to it um, yeah keep it like that um, there so this one you can still move also like as you can see it just moves around as a separate object makes it very flexible to use but sometimes you want to stick the annotation uh, more like to the object itself so that's also a possibility so we select the object but then we have to go into the object to indicate where you want the annotation to uh, attach to so for instance uh, this area with uh, so I go into edit mode hitting hitting tap adding edit mode and select one third is you have to select one third is, and now you have different options available here uh, one of them is called label and I can click label and it will create a label an empty label and sticking out far from the object now I can also go out of edit mode hitting tap again um, and I create this empty label and when I go here so when if I have this object selected I see all the annotation that belongs to this object. So this bump object, uh, bump annotation, um, that's only available at this one because I added it to that empty object. So this one is attached. This one is attached to this object. So I can also here change, uh, um, like paint stripes and I can go into the settings of it and so for instance now it is far away from the object so probably it is like 10 centimeters 0 0.1 so I want to have it like 1 centimeter so we make 0 0.01 it's closer now we make the font a little bit larger and we also want to differentiate it from the other annotation and we make the text red uh, 
Um, and also we may want, uh, so that is not a very good one. Uh, we may want to make an arrow, for instance, at the end of it. So we can choose triangle. Now the end of the annotation is a triangle. Uh, you can also automatic turn off automatic position because now it kind of automatically chooses a position for you. Now we can by dragging this over here. It makes it, yeah, because the model is quite large. It has so many vertices and it points to a specific vertice. It has a bit trouble of updating this quickly. So with large models, it may not be the best way. Uh, or simply use automatic position. Um, what else can you do here? Uh, you can of course delete it. Um, yeah, you can make the thickness of the line a bit bigger, like so, to make it a bit better visible. So those are two ways to add text annotation to this. Uh, model. Also, if you're using the same settings all the time, every time you're creating a new annotation, it will use uh, certain um, default settings, and you don't want to use the add these settings every time you create an annotation. So, in that case, when you have found something that you like that you want to reuse, go to configuration, and then um, basically. Um, yeah, use the same values that are uh, indicated here. So, for instance, um, yeah, uh, text size 20, um, everything arrow. So, I'm not entirely sure that it creates, yeah, probably I created a default configuration for such annotations that are like this. So, when I'm now creating a new annotation. Um, this one I've cr just created. Um, ring. Yeah, exactly. So it created for this type of empty object annotation a uh, default. So whenever I want to make a default setting for the one we're using over here, I have to go into edit mode again. And See, use label. Um, oh yeah, okay. So it doesn't really give me all the options. That's unfortunate. Um, but it it does change the color. But for in, it didn't it didn't update the. You're not able to update the line thickness here. So when you want to change the line thickness, you will have to go into this specific annotation again. So here you can. See a different annotation, edge to make them. Yeah. Time takes a while to load. So it used these um, default configuration settings when it added that annotation. I still have to modify all the uh, things like. Uh, the distance to the object, zero, zero, 001, something like that. All right, so this is how you can create annotations in Blender on top of objects.